Hi everyone, I'm so excited to share some of the New Year's culinary traditions with you. And for us Russians, a really important part of New Year celebrations is sitting at the table, watching TV, drinking some champagne, and our New Year's dinner takes hours and hours. That's why it is really important that a big chunk of our meal consists of relatively cold things that don't need to stay hot. And a big part of that is Russian salads. Now, Russian salads are not something that is really healthy. Russian salads have a lot of mayo, they have a lot of carbs. And today I want to tell you about probably the most popular Russian salad, especially when it comes to New Year's. You might have heard its name, it's called Olivia salad. Um, some parts of the world it is also known as the Russian salad. And that was invented in the 19th century, where aristocrats ate it. And it did not consist of some of the ingredients that I'm going to show you today. That consisted of quails, they put some foie gras in it, some really extravagant sauces. But in the Soviet times, it emerged, it transformed into what we're going to cook with you today. And so I'm going to show you what it consists of. The ingredients are really simple because in the Soviet times, you know, these it consisted of some of the things that were really easy to get and some of the things that you only really get once a year. So the basic ingredients are, this is a boiled potato and a boiled carrot. Uh, and this is something that, yeah, you could probably also find all year round, which is two pickles um, cut into squares. And now we get into some really, really exclusive things that Soviet citizens would only find closer to New Year's Eve, which is ham. And in Russia, sometimes they use bologna for that, uh, but we like to use ham. And a can of sweet peas. And a true delicacy on a Soviet table is mayonnaise. Now, the rest is pretty simple. You just take all of the ingredients and you mix them up. So here is my boiled potato with carrot. I go fix them up. Now I dump my ham in there. Um, pickles. The peas. Personally, my favorite part. I really like peas. Maybe you don't need to put the whole can in. Kind of see. And now the mayo. Right? Uh, don't skimp on the mayo. Use, make sure that it really coats, covers, you know, all of the ingredients of your salads. It's really interesting that, you know, some of the things um, that are used in the Olivia salad are some things that could be, they're not, are not as perishable, you know, because sometimes uh, such deficit things as mayonnaise or a can of peas, people plan to make those salads you know, for the New Year's Eve table in December, but in order to do that, sometimes you needed to get your can of peas in October and just save it until it's December. <laughs> and um, there are all these tales in the Soviet times about how they would buy some ham and nobody in the family would be allowed to touch it, you know, it's for New Year's table only. So, um, you know, Russian ingredients, Russian food in, ge in general is pretty bland so even though here we have some acidity with pickles with ham the ham is pretty salty you do need a fair amount of salt so just taste your salad um you know salt it um so here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna salt this and make sure that you taste it Needs more salt. <laughs> um, so put salt and a really important ingredient for all Russian dishes is um, dill. Of course, we put dill on it. So um, garnish your salad with dill, mix it up, and your Olivia salad for the New Year's table is ready. <laughs> 